Guy was a really big booger in my mouth. What are you doing, Greg? Just doodling. <laughs> what are you doing, Jazz? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we actually doing? <laughs> um, we're like signing and drawing. I'm drawing little um, personalized messages for certain people who we're sending the book to who we love. Mm -hmm. and, so, here's yeah. an example. There's the book. This is for uh, Lily, aka Superwoman. And so we wrote a little note, but it's private, and then we're also giving people little drawings. So Greg drew that. It's a unicorn, because if you don't know Superwoman, she has a unicorn fantasy. No, she loves unicorns, and all of her fans call themselves unicorns. So we are also unicorns, so we thought we'd include that. But yeah, that's basically it. We're going to do a bunch of these, sign a bunch of books, which is exciting. We got a crate of them, and then send them out. All right, look at all these books. I guess you can't. Let's see if we can get a proper angle in here. Oh, it's so hidden. There's lots. There's lots in there, we promise. <laughs> Anyways, how do you and feel? And we're sending to really cool people like Chris Hatfield. Woohoo! <laughs> Who actually gave us a blurb for our book, which is so Let's nice. See, is it on there? He's obviously Wait. a huge inspiration. Uh, he's Canadian. Right there. Woo! <laughs> but if you want a signed one as well, make sure you share your pre-order with us. We're going to give away a bunch of different prizes. We have some Facebook competitions going on as well to get signed copies of the book. Or we're obviously having a bunch of meetups. Oh my God. So. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm so clumsy. But literally... He literally is. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you should definitely come to any of our signings that we're having. There's one in New York, one in New Jersey. We just confirmed one in Toronto. And... There might be one in, oh, that's really dark. There might be one in Austin now, which will be really exciting. So we will put all the description below. Please let us know if you're coming in the Facebook groups that we put down there, just so we can sort of that's estimate. That's a way to do this that I've done. <laughs> okay. like I can't put these in the dark, we're breaking them. <laughs> yeah, Greg's clumsy and he won't admit it. And he, he's clunking clumsy, but he's my guy. Okay, so our office is sort of more clean than usual because we had people over yesterday. So it's like the only time we clean it up when people are coming over, so it feels kind of nice. Even though actually, it's not like super clean, but for us, there's usually a lot more junk on the floor and a lot more junk everywhere. So we are feeling real good about that. Getting ready to film an ASAP thought right now. Got our setup going and ready to kill it. Okay, so many YouTubers, we notice, drink energy drinks uh, before they like vlog and stuff, like when we're with them, they're like, okay, let's do it, put it on the camera, and they drink it, and they're like, let's go! And I'm like, whoa, that makes sense, that's why they're always full of energy. We think that's unhealthy, and <laughs> so we use pop music. Pop music, kids, don't do drugs. You don't need energy drinks, okay? Where are we going, Greg? Okay, so we are on our way. We're really excited because we're on our way to the Orphan Black set. What's Orphan Black? Um, it's a <laughs> Canadian Toronto Holla uh, TV show that's amazing. But it's, it's, but it's worldwide. Like, yeah, right? it's available in America on BBC America, I think. It's like a science so dark fiction and uh, show <laughs> that is really brilliant, but mostly because of an actress named Tatiana Maslany who plays like a large amount of different roles. It's so crazy. She plays clones of herself. So we're huge fans of her. Like we just are obsessed with her. It's crazy. Like in each scene, she'll be playing a different character and you'll just completely forget that it's the same actress because she's so brilliant that you're like, oh yeah, that's the same <laughs> person. And they keep adding more and more characters as the seasons go on. And she's every day she probably gets the script. She's like, okay, I guess I gotta learn how to be another person. <laughs> but anyways, huge respect for her. It's based in Toronto. So we're actually at the amazing opportunity to go to the set. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to show you due to legal reasons, but Yeah, I'm not sure if we're actually allowed to film or take pictures while we're there, but we'll let you know how it goes. But we'll show you our faces after and we're like, that was so great! And you can live through that. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's what we're doing. Okay, so we're back from Orphan Black set. How was it? It was so cool. Yeah, it was really cool. We're just making some dins now. We are sworn to jaws. Yeah, we actually have to sign forms, so we actually cannot talk about really what happened. Or but else. Was, or else. And I mean, we kind of didn't really understand Sorry. what they were filming necessarily because it was like a scene in the season that's not even released yet. But it was really, really cool to be on set to see um, how they do all the stuff. If you don't watch the show, it's, the show, it's like 
about a lot of clones and one girl plays so many characters and to see her in action playing one of the characters and them having like it was amazing it, it was, was just really really cool she Tatiana Maslany is like such an amazing actress and she deserves Emmys and she's been snubbed a lot as of late in my opinion my my important opinion which everyone should listen to I'm just kidding but she's really great and if you haven't watched Orphan Black you should watch it it's really yeah good show. it's an amazing show it's it's like such a thriller so if you're into thrillers or like I don't know. Your heart will race in it. It's got a cool plot. It's definitely tons of twists and stuff. Um, it's an amazing show, so you should definitely watch it. And now, watch it. we're making asparagus because we're healthy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Achoo! We have a squirrel in our walls. This has been going on for a little while, but, and I tried to record it once before, but then the squirrel just stopped making noise. Oh, did you hear that? So we're going to show you. It's a freak, and sometimes it freaks. Okay. Okay. And... Yeah. It's like right here. Ew. <laughs> okay, so the squirrel has been here for a while, and we've told our landlord, and they're trying to deal with it, but it, like... That's like the quietest it's ever been. Sometimes it freaks out. And yesterday, we were coming home and outside, and we saw a squirrel jump from the tree to our roof, and we were like, oh my gosh, we have to watch that to see where it goes. And it was just like chilling for a bit, and we are like, oh, it knows we're watching. It's never going to go. And then all of a sudden, it was just on a roof, and it just went like, into a hole, and it was gone. And apparently that, like, right there is exactly where it enters our house every day. And occasionally, it, like, screams and makes noise and starts running all around, like, the inside of our walls, and goes like, <laughs> and it's so freaky. Like, like, like sometimes it'll like I guess it like needs to like project itself out of the house. Sometimes yeah, it'll it start stuck. over here and I'll go like Mwah! Also, yeah, there's like a hole right here that we're always scared it's gonna pop out of. Isn't that so scary? Like what if it's there? But I don't know if it's in that level. I don't think so. But I do think now that we vlog. A part of me wants it to pop out of that hole, because that'd be an epic scene! Yeah, but do you think we'd have the, the sense to grab the camera? I would, I would grab like, it by its tail <laughs> and just like, run away. Around. <laughs> That's by disgusting. Itself. Hopefully hopefully we'll capture it again. Freaking out. Oh, I meant like capture the No, score. we'll capture its noises so you believe us that it is like insanely loud and screams and stuff and runs around like it's a cat that just took a poo and it's like running around the house. <laughs> Does that happen to your cats? <laughs> My parents' cat at home every time it takes a beer, just like starts running everywhere. So yeah, that's our squirrel menace problem. But he's probably pretty cute.